What up, it's Nick, and today we are going to look at the gate inside of Bitwig Studio. The gate is probably not used much, but uh, I'm going to give you some examples how to use it and how I've been using it and some interesting ways to use it, I guess, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. I use it for a couple of things and some sound design things, but it's really interesting. So let's get right into it. Checking out the gate inside of Bitwig Studio. Like the video if you like it, subscribe, and let's get right into it. So I have two instances of Serum. I will play the first one. The sound is a sound I made. Um, it's really bad, actually. <laughs> it's just a really nasty, grimy... <laughs> Yeah, it's like really dubstepy, heavy sounding or whatever. So anyways, let's go check out the gate. Um, we're going to turn it on and I'm going to do the help, show help to display what everything is. The first thing it shows is the audio sidechain source. Um, yes, our source right now is on this drum loop and I'm going to explain why our sidechain source is this drum loop. It's pretty awesome, pretty interesting. It's actually just cool <laughs> so yeah and then you can add effects into the sidechain so whatever your sidechain source is you can put some effects into it and there's a couple effects i actually put in this to help the sidechain go forward and then the other thing is a combo meter it shows you your threshold this red thing is pretty much your uh, threshold right here uh, so when you play a sound, it will meter something in this. If this is too high, like really high, and the meter goes above it, it will play the sound. But if the sound doesn't reach that threshold point, it will not play any sound. And we'll mess with that. So yeah, it's pretty easy <laughs> to or self-explanatory um the release attack you guys probably know what that means by now it uh how long it takes for the sound to be released or i guess fade away and then the attack is uh how fast do you want the sound to come in and hit pretty easy and then the depth is the gain reduction amount i use this to pretty much get the sound out of there from the sidechain but yeah, and then the threshold, I explained that over here. So yeah, that's the gate. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So for one, if you uh, take this and you don't want nothing on it, and say you have a sound, we have a sound right here, and it's going to play it. So if I turn up the threshold all the way, you're getting glitches because the threshold is all the way up and the sound, the level of the sound is going up and down in between that threshold and it's like, did 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 like that. And then if you go down, it'll play the sound and then you can mess with the attack and stuff like that. So pretty much I use the gate for like a reverb. Say that you have a hit and the reverb's going down and say you set your threshold to like, I don't know. Uh, we'll just try it out right now. We'll play the sound. But say we want the threshold a little higher so it fades out quicker than it should. See? It dips out really fast. Pretty easy, self-explanatory. So yeah, you could use it that way. Or, this is how I like to use it. Say uh, that you have, like, you're stuck and you need ideas. So, what I like to do, let's get rid of this ROM. I like to go in here and I like to use the side chain. I like to go to, like, a drum loop. So, I'll pick this drum loop and I'll use this post. And I have a couple effects. Um, the main effect that I really like using is the transient shaper, though. Because if you put the transient shaper in here and then you put the attack, it will uh, boost up the drum loop but whatever the side chain coming in it will boost the transients and it will be easier for your gate to pick up the pattern if that makes sense <laughs> i'll show you right here so i'll turn off this transient control and i will play um the drum loop with the serum preset so you just hear the drum loop the threshold is way too high we're going to turn it down and we're going to have to dial it in
And you hear that? It's, it's going along with the drums like... Dee. It's picking up every transient from the drums. If you turn on the transient control, and I have the gain all the way up on the attack, it'll improve it. Because it's picking up smaller transients, and it's boosting them into the sidechain chain. chain. <laughs> Pretty much. So that's how I've been using it. And uh, it's pretty cool because if you have this on and then you just go to bounce, we'll bounce it down from the gate and we'll solo it. And we have we have it right here. We, this is our bounce version of the sound. You can use any sound though, any BST, any sound, anything like that. And you can use any drum loop. Uh, I wouldn't use drum loops that are too messy because you'll have to dial in like really fine to get it to sound not so muddy but this drum loop sounds really good <laughs> sounds cool so that was easy the next way that i use this is say that we have a melody loop like this and you're like, yeah, I like the rhythm of that, but I don't like the sound. So um, I have in this A minor basic chord shape, whatever. I found it offline. And um, what I have is the same thing. I have the side chain going to the melody loop. And then this is the awesome part. Because you can uh, actually just copy the rhythm of that melody. And it sounds like this. So let's mute this and... It's actually using the chords that I used, but it's using it's using the rhythm from the loop, but it's using the chords I used in the MIDI, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's really cool, really, really cool. But say that we want, it, instead of being, I guess, ongoing, let's say we make a pluck. Like, let's have a pluck right here. So if I press play now, it won't play the full chord. It'll just pluck once and then it'll pluck every time the chord comes in so I'll let you see that I normally do is I put an arpeggiator in front of that and I'll pick some rhythmic thing that I like like I like this blossom down at one eight and I have the transient control at 100% and I will press play and it will arpeggiate these chords but I will have the, the rhythm of this melody loop. So it's really cool. And I rendered this a couple times uh, earlier, so I'll just play the rendered version for you. So it's just... It's playing that rhythm from that loop, but it I changed the the sound pretty much and the chords and all that. And it sounds really cool. And you can clean it up. It's real it sounds a little glitchy and dirty, but you can clean it up with effects and stuff like that. But here's a couple other drum patterns that I rendered down. I think this was a bass right here, and I just uh did the same process and this is what I got from this drum loop. I just used some bass sound, um, high pitchy sound a little bit. And then I did it again with this sound. This is another bass sound. So yeah, the gate, it's uh, pretty good. Actually, if you know how to use it or you use it in a different way, really awesome. Like it. You just got to dial it in uh, really fine threshold depth it only has four knobs so it can't be that hard to uh, experiment with it thanks for watching the video if you like the video give me a like subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified for these videos uh this was a good one i really really like doing like sound design stuff for the gate or if i find a loop and i want to use that rhythm and i'm too lazy i guess to copy the midi i'll just throw it in experiment really cool um new music news everything coming sample pack all that stuff uh i finished the art for the sample pack today and it looks so funny <laughs> it's so it cracks me up every time i look at it but 
it's supposed to be fun and that's what this is about having fun so yeah uh i'll catch you guys next time new song coming out the 23rd or 4th i believe it's soon if you follow me on instagram or twitter you'll see it but anyways i hope you guys have a great rest of your week rest of your day and see you next time peace bye